Mmm, something smells good. I wonder what Lynn's cooking today. Hey, Lynn, what's cooking? Now here's your host, Lynn Austin. Hi everyone, welcome to Hey Lynn What's Cooking and in my kitchen today my girlfriend Rhonda is in because we are preparing for a margarita movie night Very with fun. the girlfriends, right? So we are going to, actually I'm going to try two different margaritas on you for the margarita uh -oh. movie night. Because you know, I, I want your opinion on them, but I know we're going to serve them both. Okay. But I want to see which one you like the best. All right. And we have some fun ice cream to make right after that, that we have softened right now. And then we're going to whip up with some special ingredients. We're going to stick back in the freezer. I like ice cream. Yeah. It's, we it's, call it ICT, it's, ice cream therapy. Oh, I like that. Well, we're going to have some ice cream therapy, all right, and some margarita therapy as well for uh -oh. our movie night. <laughs> and also, we're going to make a fun lime fluff dip oh. and some cinnamon and sugar. What did you call those? Oh, sopapillas. Sopapillas. She's so cute. She's like, we're going to take tortillas and, and just we're going to cut them into triangles and put cinnamon sugar on them and bake them. I'm like, honey, that's soap appears. But why do you know this? <laughs> so everybody knows why do you know this? Because you worked at a Mexican restaurant. restaurant. So she knew that she si, was. Señorita. So, so we're going to make those and fun and we're going to top them off on the ice cream. So that'll be yummy, yes, yummy, yummy. That's the way to so, go. So, but first off, we got to get started with the margaritas, which I'm so excited Why is this not because I have names for them. The Ooh, first nice one coconut water. Coconut water Very is, good. is is like, I think, kind of like the new and coming water here that people are getting involved in and drinking. But of course, I am just not drinking it alone. <laughs> I have to add it into a cocktail with this is kind of on of the course. lighter side but I'm naming it after the movie cocktail okay because oh. the our margaritas have, I have have a little theme here this one's gonna be on the lighter side and you know what we are, didn't even answer no response. what did you say oh no don't throw, throw things? things at me don't throw things at me can you add some ice to this cute little um, oh, decanter, this please. Beautiful ice bucket. Yes. Uh oh, you might it's have to so jab it. Cute. Okay, to the ice. Juice. It's gonna be loud. We, it's okay. Go ahead. Oh, but it sounds nice. It sounds like summer. It sounds like something fun is gonna come in a few seconds. That's what it sounds like. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm. Back. Okay, that's good. Oh, I love this ice bucket. Oh, oh my gosh, that's Very fun. Cute. Okay, to the ice, we are going to add. Now, what about this? It's very cute. Oh, this was my mother in law's, and she gave this to me. She passed it on to me. So, we are going to add some coconut water okay. to this lovely, fun decanter. Okay, and to that, we're going to add some orange liqueur, whatever hmm. brand you would like, and you have. If you don't have, then just get the whatever one is the cheapest. You know me. So is that like orange schnapps? Me? No, not really. Because it's kind of like an orange liqueur. is kind of like a brandy type thing. It's a cognac oh, type. It's a yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you were going to say there, but we're going to leave that alone. It looks good. <laughs> it's not something I'm familiar with. That's right. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to add some gold tequila to this one. Okay, if you okay. say so. Oh. And some gold tequila. I don't know what kind to buy. Oh, you know what? This is just one that I had, so I'm just, you know. Oh. It's like whatever you prefer. So it's kind really of a it's guinea like, pig. Yeah, yeah basically. Come on over. You know Get what? It's whatever one, <laughs> me, it's whatever one is gifted to me or is on sale. Oh, okay. That's how I go by it. Okay. And to that, we're going to add some lime juice to that. A little bit of lime juice. And then we're going to add some fresh lime juice. And we're just going to leave the limes in there okay. in our little mixture. So now we're just going to... I gonna... love this. Oh, this you like that? Fun. Yes. It's gonna very fun. Put a few fresh limes in here and squeeze the juice. 
oop, or squeeze it on my face. Mix, mix, mix up. Well, you know what? We're just going to add, I'm going to use a little wooden spoon in the other end of it. A wooden spoon. Yes. Where did I put it? Okay. I'm glad to see you do that. I do that too every time I make lemonade. But he's kind of big on the other side, so I'm going to yeah. use the opposite side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's hey, kind it of a skinnier vessel yeah, here. Yes, we're not shaking it, we're stirring it. I don't know what And this is called the cocktail margarita. And I'm going to see That's what you think good. about that. And of course, we're prepping before the girls come for the margarita night. So if you wouldn't mind passing me those cute little glasses These are that very match darling. this. And like I always tell those you. Those ice cubes might cause you trouble though. Well, you know what? We'll see because look at, look at this. See, it's a it's smaller. It's very petite. Yes. Like so. Ooh la la, she's got it. I got it, girlfriend. All right. And then what would you like to do? Would you like an orange in there or a cherry? Would you like a cherry? Um, I want a lime. You want a lime. Please. Okay, we'll put that. Oops. Oh, yeah. Put that right there. A little there. summer fun. Oh, it's my goodness. Garnish. Oh, my gosh. That looks Very so... Nice. Like we are in May and I am hopeful. May is Mother's hopeful. Day. Mother's Day flowers are blooming and I love May. It's just the smell of summer. What do you think about summer. those crocuses though? Do they kind of make you mad because they're only there for a minute? Oh yeah, they're teas. Yeah, they're like, total teas. They pop up and I'm like, yes, it's And if spring. you don't catch it, they're yes. like they're like gone. Gone. They're gone. Yeah. Okay. So my dear. Here is to a wonderful May, and okay. here's to the first margarita. Ooh. And I noticed you took the one that had the more oh, of a level that's fuller. To, to okay, no, it's okay. Cheers to this Cheers. one. This is the cocktail margarita it is very from the movie cute. Cocktail. Hmm. Oh. I feel like we should share with our friends. Oh my gosh, is that good? It's actually really good, and I am surprised it's so sweet. Is that coconut milk sweet or that coconut water sweetened? No, it's not a lot of mm. sugar in that coconut That's water. Good. That's why it's on the lighter side. I think what you got from the lime juice and the orange liqueur added a little bit of sweetness to that. Oh, yeah, that has that. a lot of sugar, doesn't it? Mm. But not too much. That's good job, really Lynn. Good. Okay. Very Our nice. second margarita that we're going to serve the girls. Are you serious? Oh, yes, this is fun. Because one is not enough. Here, let's stick that over on the other counter over there. So, that over there. Okay, the second one is called. <laughs> is that what this is for? This is, yes. <laughs> We're going to serve these in here, but you know, we're, we're prepping for our oh. evening. Okay. So we are going to my handy dandy shaker, which I absolutely love my shaker. We are going to add some ice to that. And if you would like to do that and I'll remain quiet while you do me that. to be the loud one. I am yes. the loud one. We're going to move this over here. We're going to get our other goodies. All right. Okay. The second one is called so kindly called the hangover margarita <laughs> okay so this now, might be an pink. overnight margarita movie night stuff? okay the pink stuff is called mango cranberry oh. juice oh. so you have a hint of cranberry mm. and a hint of mango Ooh. Oh, okay. It smells really good. Yes, I it like does. Mango. To your shaker, you're going. The juice is going to go in last. First is going to be silver tequila, the clear. Okay, and that wasn't just what you had sitting around. It's just whatever I had sitting around. Okay, we're going to add a couple shots of that to that, and then okay. to that we have pineapple vodka. Oh, I like that idea. Yes. A little bit of pineapple vodka, oh my and gosh, this then is clear Bacardi rum. I didn't tell you; it was named Hangover mar Margarita for nothing. <coughs> okay, so you make sure you stay hydrated. I, mean, I thought this was going to be like a drink that would help you recover from a hangover. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> no, but if you drink responsible and you stay hydrated, you'll be okay. Okay, so we got. The booze You're in shaking. there, and we're kind of twirling it around, and then we're going to add the mango cranberry juice to that, and then we're going to shake it until it's frothy. You like to shake it? Yes, I do. Okay. Watch out. And you know, margarita glasses—just get them, have fun with them. 
I always tell they you, phone a friend. If you don't have them, somebody around you will they have. They are big to But the phone. only bad thing is if you're having a party, you have to make sure to invite that person to the party. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to say, hey, can I borrow your glasses? And then not invite them, because that would be a. Well, you could say you were having a cooking show, Lynn. Oh, well, yeah. You know what? Here's the about Lynn. They want everybody to come. Yes, I do. She I do. She has elastic walls. Remember that. My do. mom always said that. My mom always said that her house had elastic walls. There's always a room for everybody. So we're making this very cute, very frothy like. Okay. Now, what if I want sugar on my glass? Well, you could do sugar, but I did coarse kosher salt on yours because a you little say that bit of five times? no, I did not. I will not. <laughs> After that first margarita, oh look at the contrast. Okay, it's the pretty. It's colors. Pretty. Oh my gosh, is that beautiful? You're having a little bit too much fun with that. You oh. need to slop it all over there. I okay. love that. Oh my gosh. You notice? Okay, what it's not that much ice is? left because that's a good drink. Are you going in um, for a lime again? Do you know what? I think I am going to go for an orange. Yeah. I kind of want a little orange. Lime for me. I want an orange. Aren't you glad that I invited you? <laughs> <laughs> I could come back with a lime comment, but I don't know if I'm that tricky. I don't think you have one here. Wrong oh, wait, margarita. Wrong <laughs> here we go. This is so good. You have to I'm try this, this one. Okay, here's two. This looks cool. Orange I know. And blue. See, I kind of went. Thank, thank you. You're better. Here yes. is the hangover margarita, and here's to having fun in the kitchen and having the girls over later for a margarita movie night. Okay. Yes. Wait, all you didn't that. really get a good day. Yeah. Well. It's That's not better. dinging really loud. I don't know why. Well, Maybe the salt just got on there. It's a large okay. Glass. Okay. Hmm. Mm. No. Mm. I like the sweetness mm. with the saltiness on there. Mm hmm. Mm. You know what? It's really very frightening. It's, you don't taste really any booze in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't either. <laughs> That's what I thought myself. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. It might be a No, it's like really light. An overnight. Yeah, that's very it's very delicious. It might be an overnight. It's not just yeah, a movie night. It's anymore. not a movie night. I think it just changed to an overnight. Okay. Hmm. So we need to get cracking on our ice cream. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a few things to our ice cream and I'm so excited Can we about sing these. About it? We <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to think about ice Don't cream? We scream, scream. We all scream yes. for ice cream. Every yes. time. Okay. Every time. The well, first one, I have rainbow. Okay, Rhonda, is it sorbet or is it sherbet or is it sherbet? We're in Indiana. I think it's sherbet. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a sherbet. <laughs> I think so. We're going to put some sherbet into a she metal says bowl. It's not sherbet because it says sherbet. It should be sherbet. And be I am sorbet. so confused because I really never paid attention to it. I grew up saying sherbet. Huh. Yeah. So, Sherbert. like, hey, Bert, like from Sesame Street. <laughs> so, we're going to put the softened sherbet or sherbet or sherbet. Sherbet or whatever. Sherbet. Okay. <laughs> We're going to put this in here like so. And if you're having a large group, you would put... And you're just mixing all those colors together? But wait, let me tell you. It's going to go in the freezer. And what we're going to do... Okay. As I said, it's, it's our girlfriend. I've only done this type of thing Maybe. for a baby shower. But no, this is not This is not your ordinary baby. This is not going to be a baby shower, baby. This okay. is a girl's margarita night. And we are adding some clear tequila to the sherbet. We're just going to drizzle this in and here. And where did you come up with this? <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Okay. Oh my gosh. And it's really good. Now okay, I bet that doesn't stir freeze, this. so it stays well, like we're a gonna freeze it. No, no, no. It'll freeze a little bit because we didn't Does put it? a whole lot in there. Okay. So we're gonna stick this into the freezer. That's really, why we gotta get you this just going. Decide one night you were gonna make this in your kitchen. Basically, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So this has to go. And in I the didn't freezer. get a phone call. No, I did not call really? you because I was sampling it. Wow. We got to get this baby in the freezer because we only have a little bit of time to share it with our friends. And the next one is chocolate. And we're going to oh, sprinkle some cinnamon. Would you like me cinnamon. to put some chocolate in yes. there? Yes. Some oh. cinnamon's going to go in there okay. into that one. So we have a chocolate ice cream with cinnamon and we have a rainbow sherbet or sherbet that what? has clear tequila in it. Okay, that's good because we want it to freeze because we don't have a little bit of time to you show know, our friends. Are you sure? Yeah, it's we're good. It's ice cream and it's, it's okay. chocolate. It's okay. Put that away okay. here. Put that on the on the she side. She is so demanding. Oh, I am. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle some cinnamon into this. Just ground cinnamon. 
and I hope I didn't grab the cayenne pepper. <laughs> that would oh, be I would like horrible. That. No, I would like it. Okay, some ground cinnamon. I had to smell it first. It might be really good, actually. Actually, I have to be honest. I put the cayenne pepper in there, and it was too much. Oh, you tried it? I did. It okay. was just too much. So we're just going to keep it with the cinnamon because it was just too much of a bite. You, you like, you tasted yeah, the cinnamon. Yeah, but you don't like anything spicy. No, but it got to the back of your throat, and it was too spicy. Not so much? Yeah, not so much. No, 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 no. Trust me. I had my mm. test people test it, and it was too much. Your test people? Yes, my, my test people. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> Is it a secret? Top secret? It's top secret. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to stir the cinnamon into the chocolate ice cream, and you don't have to go crazy with fancy ice cream. It could just be whatever you got. Okay. Or whatever's on sale. You know me. I like ice cream. I oh, like chocolate. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. And if you could smell that cinnamon I in there. I cannot smell it yet. We're just going to let that go in the but freezer. I believe you. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay, you put that. You can look that. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Put that in the freezer. Okay, those guys are doing their deal in the freezer. We have our drinks. We decided that both cocktails are good, and we're going to serve both cocktails. Okay. We have the cocktail. We have the hangover. We so have we got those going. We have our and our nerds. Ready? Nerds, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have little nerds for my nerd friends that are coming over. I love it. <laughs> I love them. I hope they don't get offended. But oh, ooh, get that over. To really? The Put your hand underneath it. Okay, so we have our ice creams going. Our drinks are perfected. Correct. And now we're going to move on to our, what did you call them again? Oh, sopapillas? Sopapillas. Our oven You can call is them whatever you want to, though. Uh, tortillas hey, with Lynn. cinnamon and sugar with What's melted butter. Cooking? Hey, we are going to take some tortillas right there in our pans that are foiled, lined with foil. Foiled again. Foiled. We are foiled, and we don't want to waste that tequila. Oh, heavens no. We're going to put that over there. Oh, heavens, heavens no. Heavens no. We are not going to waste that. I have a bowl that I, I already pre-melted the butter, and we're going to add to that um, some sugar, which is right behind it. Okay. And the sugar caramelized like it makes it hard, you know, it gives it a harder texture and it kind of makes them break apart and a little bit of cinnamon to this. Take this off one second. And we're going to coat these and put these in a 400 degree oven. Hmm. Okay. Stir that up. You want to cut these up? No, I am going to leave them whole. She's and gonna then, live on the wild and side. And then, because I have my handy dandy pizza scissors. Excuse me, I'm burping up my margaritas. I love scissors in the I kitchen. I have scissors in the kitchen. You can use regular scissors. You can have kitchen scissors. You I have pizza what? scissors. I have. What do this you is have? Really kind of weird. What do I you have? I have wallpaper scissors from Lowe's. Really? They are the best kitchen scissors well, ever. There we they go. They are stainless steel and food safe. I checked. And they don't cost as much as kitchen shears, and they are really excellent. I Here's cut my hint. pizza with Go it. Go to the hardware store and get yourself some. What are they um, I got them as a gift, actually, and it was seriously excellent gift. I've had them for awesome. years. They are awesome. So we're going to brush the butter and the cinnamon and the sugar on your flour tortilla. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to bake them for about... This is easy schmeasy. I like it. Oh, it's, it's easy for about maybe 10 minutes. We're going to get just a couple of them in the oven so we can get going and move on to our fruit fruit, oh, fruit fluff, which is a lime fruit oh, fluff. Oh, I like fruit fluff. Okay, so the oven is at 400 degrees, and these guys are going to bake, and they're going to become crispy. I'm just going to do what four What are we going here? Four? Under. Okay. Four. We're going to go four. And then we're going to flip them after a few minutes. Put these guys in the oven. And remember, we're going to top these on top of our ice cream. And if you make a lot of them, which we will later on, we can, we're going to cut them up and you can dip them into this wonderful, wonderful lime fluff. fruit fluff. And let me tell you, when you have the girls over, if you wouldn't mind getting me those two things. Fluffy. In this bowl, I have a half a brick of softened cream cheese. And then to the and fruit fluff. is the magical fluff. It is marshmallow fluff. Have you ever heard it of a fluffer nutter? A fluffer nutter? Yeah. What is a fluffer nutter? It's where you put peanut butter in that fluff on a sandwich. Have you ever heard of this? 
It's for real. No. I had never heard of it. It's scandalous. Oh, smell that. I love oh, that. Oh, smell. Oh it smells gosh. like childhood. But you know what, Rhonda? I think that fluffer nutter probably has another name to it that you're probably not familiar with. I'm thinking. I suppose. <laughs> I am thinking that it does. Okay, we are so no, going to We mix already this. pre prepared. Oh, graham crackers. Graham crackers. You know what? You totally don't need to buy those graham cracker sticks. All you got to do is just buy a box of regular graham crackers and break them in half and you have graham cracker sticks. You are so sensible. And you get like less in the bag. So you just buy the box of graham crackers and then just take the time to break them apart. Yes. And they're graham cracker sticks. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, Glad so you we clarified have. That. I was so excited when you I realized that. You gotta get mad at that cream cheese girl. I know it's really. It's, it's not like time to be oh. dental. Whip that. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta get in there. You I want a fork. No, I got it. Well, it's going well. Look at watch, watch. In one second, we're gonna add. We're lime trying juice. to incorporate it together, there, girl. Lime juice, about maybe a tablespoon. Watch this. Hmm. You know what this smells like? Oh my gosh, for real. It says fluffer nutter right on the side. Ha! I did not make fluffer this nutter. up. Oh my gosh. The sandwich <laughs> made with marshmallow <laughs> fluff and peanut butter. I've never had that. I didn't make it up. I've never had that. Is that like an Indiana it's thing? It's a for real thing. Okay. I don't know. I had never been introduced to it until I was an adult. And I was a little terrified, frankly, because... Well, who needs sugar and peanut butter well, <laughs> on carbs? Could you imagine? I I don't mean to be competing political here, but I don't really think the first lady would really appreciate the kids having marshmallow fluff and peanut butter on their sandwich. No, I don't think a lot of moms would well, either. Well, you know what? Once in a while isn't so bad. Yeah. You know, that's a treat. I just added probably about a cup or more of fluff. Okay. We can't go wrong. But with you know what this smells like? You guys have no cheese. clue. This smells like it smells like key lime, key lime pie. Oh yeah, is what it, it smells does. like. Look at that. Awesome. It's very light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put it into this bowl. And look at this cuteness she has. It's actually a big margarita glass. I thought it would be really cute if I just who put would the drink dip a margarita there? out of that? Seriously, no. That's not for real a margarita glass. Actually, I've tried it, and technically no. it kind of splashes out of it, so I don't use it anymore. I don't, I don't think you could drink <laughs> I anything use it, out of that. I use it as a dip, so it's good You could way. make like a large family pudding in it or No, it's really, really, it's not really a good margarita glass, because okay. it, it kind of splashes back and forth. Yeah, it would be like a whole ocean. Okay, so we're going to put this dip in here. And we'll make more a little later for the girls. This is just for us to try right now. Hmm. And yes, I'm going to garnish it. Good. I'm so glad. Actually. There's a cherry over there. No, I want a strawberry on that. Oh, yes. Be careful. Are you going to make it look like a flower? Oh, that's perfect. Very oh, nice. Yeah, now try that. I Let's love see it. see what you think of this. Oh, I'm sure. I think the girls delightful. are really going to like this. This is perfect. You put it on your little table and have everybody just mm. dive into it while they're eating and watching a movie. I really like the lime. Mm. It really does taste like key lime pie. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is like really good. I always say this is like happiness on my tongue. You know, they say that recipes that have like three ingredients in them are the ones that people the enjoy the most. Oh my and it's so true. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And mm. we used marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow fluff. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to check on our tortillas. I'm oh, just gonna okay. Because the other ones are really, really hard to say. Oh, look at their. Oh, they are nice. really, really going. We're just going to flip them over. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Those will get nice and crispy in a few minutes. And our ice cream, I have cute little bowls of to course. serve our ice cream. But it may not be as hardened as I wanted it to. These but are like the pudding bowls. Yeah, but they're cute. So they you know are what? adorable. Just take, take the extra minute to just 
go in and just have fun and They're just make really it cute. your presentation on the bolts because your girlfriends would be like, oh my gosh, you did this for you me. You know what? That's what's so fun about having girlfriends over is they appreciate stuff like this. I think so. Like, my yeah. kids, like, they don't wait for it to go in the bowl. Well, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes I've noticed if you put these on the table and you do a presentation for the kids, they'll be like, wow, mom. Is it Easter? Yeah. <laughs> Must be a special confused. day. Okay. Well, our ice cream, and it is, you know, I want you to taste it. It's not going to be really firm. Okay. We can put it back into the freezer, though. Okay. And when, when we're, I just want you to taste it. I want you to taste this because this is, like, really, really yummy. And it's not exactly hardened yet, but let me get you a spoon. Okay. And I really, you know what, can you? You want to go with this one? No, God, goodness, no. Just go in that drawer over there and get, get a couple spoons. Okay, try. I'm so excited about you trying this. Okay, which one do you want to go for first? I'm going chocolate. Okay, try the chocolate. You want me to just... No, you go ahead. Okay. Just try that. Oh, it is Oh, hard. it's really nice, actually. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to give you this one. Wait. Oh, that is supposed to cleanse my palate. Right? You ready? That's a very cinnamony. I yes. like it. It'll okay, go really good on some of yours. Oh, yeah. You it's taste really tequila. sweet. I cannot, I can taste a lot of lime. Really? You can't taste mm -hmm. it? Well, that's another, that's a little sneak up one. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Okay, so these are going to go back in the freezer to the firm. Our mm -hmm. sopapillas are in the oven baking at 400 degrees, and they're going to bake until they're crispy, like a chip. And then what you're going to do is take any scissors or just mm. break them off if we don't have any scissors. And what you're going to do is scoop the ice cream in here and place one right on top or dip it in your lime fluff. So you have your margaritas, you have your lime fluff, you have your ice cream, and the girls are coming over later, and grab your drink, Rhonda, thank And there'll be popcorn, so too. And popcorn and candy, you just have fun with it. Have a great margarita movie night, and thanks for tuning in to Haylin What's Cooking, and thank you, Rhonda, for coming Cheers. in my kitchen. Thank you Cheers. for having me. Happy margarita movie night. <laughs>